Hi everybody, welcome back to Donna's DIY. If you're into chalk painting and DIY projects, then this channel's for you. But first, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell, because each week I post a new video. Today I thought we'd get started on these toilet paper rolls. We're going to make a little Halloween project with the candles. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started today and what you're going to need is you can use any black paint, but I'm going to try the new Annie Salon Athenium Black. Um, it's brand new, so let's try that. You're going to need your trusty glue gun, you're going to need some toilet paper rolls or um, paper towel rolls, uh, some little cupcake holders, so you're going to put into that to hold your little tea lights, and extra glue gun sticks if you need that. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to take our trusty uh, paper towel holder here, our toilet one, little tiny cupcake holder. We're going to put some glue right in the inside so we can get this little holder to stay in. get the idea you just stick it that in there that way you don't have to glue this into the side because then you won't be able to turn it on so this will just sit right in there like that now if you want to hang these to where the Harry Potter floating you just um, take um, a pin put it through with string on it fishing line uh, and just hang it maybe I'll do that um, on the next one but there you go there you have it and now all you're gonna do is you're gonna want to drip some glue to where it's like a hot candle and you're just gonna put that all over it however you want Ooh, need another glue stick just gonna let that drip down Actually, this is my first time doing this, so if I can do this, anybody could do it. So, that's looking pretty good. Now, well, a cat emergency there. He's not an outside cat. That looks pretty good. So that will dry pretty quick. And then you'll just set your tea light in there. And we're going to end up painting this black. So we'll just 
just have to wait on that one and let's try let's try a taller one not that it matters try it this way this time okay let's try this way see if it's easier I can't mess this up. dry and we'll keep going on this one this one's looking pretty good so what we'll do is we will paint this one I just have one of these little hardware store cheapy brushes I'm just gonna paint it all over what you can do too is paint the toilet paper holder thing the, um, the roll here first and then put the wax on but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some silver on it to highlight the, the drippings now if you want to hang these outside and if you have rain what I would suggest is just buy some PVC pipe which is you know that's just hard plastic so that will withhold the rain these are going to end up not holding up in rain so unless you have a covered type patio or something if you want them outside but you could you know put these inside on a table or something or if you want to hang them You don't have to use chalk paint, it's just what I have. You could use any spray paint, any black paint's going to do. That looks pretty good, you're going to let that dry. on see pretty cool and you don't even have to have the spider webs I just think they're cool you could paint over that if you want but we're going to put some when this dries we'll put some silver leaf to highlight the the little whatever you call that drippings so let's let this I dry real quick and let's finish up on this one this one down here oh I just stuck my finger in it 
no worries. Still looks kind of cool. That's what I'm saying. You can't mess this up. Just putting this stuff anywhere. Okay, so let's let that one dry. Here's the silver metallic dust that you just kind of stick on your finger. Let's see what this is going to look like. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of neat. there you have it not too shabby for my first time doing a little Harry Potter tea light thing so there you have it pretty cool and then if you take these a lot of people they'll put them together and they'll tape them together and then spray paint them all um, but for right now, I just, that one's pretty neat. Not bad for a free little toilet um, paper holder. Pretty cool. Okay, this is, it's okay dry, and I just tried to put the silk, the dust on it. It goes on, but it's better if it's painted black. So, I think your best bet is just to paint after. That's pretty easy. Maybe I'll go get some, I think they have some red um, metallic, maybe I can, if they have the red metallic, I'll go get some and do one, see if it looks like blood, that would be cool. Okay, I think that one's done. So let's let this one dry. Paint the other one that I did. I've seen where they cut out a hole right here and they put a little skeleton. Maybe I'll go to the store today and get some of those and I'll show you how to do that but so far here we go we got all these and let's let this dry and we'll put some silver on it okay so we'll finish up on one last one put the silver dust on it I'm thinking I'm liking that. So, I'll put the batteries in. Look at me, I'm getting all this all over it. You could easily paint these black. you have 
some Harry Potter candles. Pretty cool, and you can get a bunch more of the tall ones and put them all together on a table. It'd look cool. You could, you know, if you had all different heights, it would be pretty neat. But there you have it. So, what do you guys think? I finished. Not too bad. It's I'm really liking the silver that I put on the outside here. I think they're pretty cool for a little throwaway item of toilet paper holders and paper towel holders. Easy project that anybody can do. If I can do it, you could do it. So if you're interested in more videos of mine, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell because I have a new video each week. So until next time everybody, Donna's DIY. Bye.